everybody shake it, baby. Family, how are you doing? <laughs> ha, I'll tell you what. This year has been an incredibly interesting year. But I will say the weather has been outstanding. The weather has been outstanding. I haven't, I've experienced some negative temperatures in the Chicagoland area. And I have also experienced about three to four inches of snow. I fired up my snowmobile, my snowmobile, I wish I had a snowmobile, my snowblower up twice. I didn't necessarily need to, but I did anyway. The old, the old term, use it or lose it. And I definitely wanna, don't wanna lose my, um, my snowblower because I am uh, inherently lazy. And if I can use machinery to do something such as shovel snow, I'm gonna use it. <laughs> I like my glasses. My wife got me these um, transition glasses, so they transition from regular to shades. I like it. I like it. Ha! I wanted to talk to you guys about something that has been bugging me in the trucking industry, and that is artificial intelligence. I I I, I kind of hinted at it in my last video we talked, and. While I was out, I experienced it firsthand. Artificial intelligence, in my opinion, again, I always say this stuff is my opinion, my thoughts. Um, it's not in, in, in engraved in stone. Um, these are just my theories and how I feel about situations. These are my opinions. Um, and in my opinion, I believe AI, artificial intelligence, is ruining the trucking industry. I don't know about other industries. I guess if I was a taxi driver, I would say the same thing regarding Uber and Lyft. You know, at one point it was just taxis. Now Uber and Lyft have dominated the people transportation business. Um, you see less taxis. And when you go to the airport and you're looking for a ride, the first thing you do is, I'm going to give me an Uber. Or I'm going to Uber to the hotel. Uber has become a verb. <laughs> when things become a verb, they they take over certain markets, such as Xerox. I'm going to Xerox me a copy. I'm just using that as, as an example. So why do I say AI is ruining trucking? Well, in trucking, everything is negotiated. Everything is negotiated through a broker. And when you're able to negotiate person to person, you can say, hey, this is why I need this price. This is why this number is important. Um, you know, hey, you know, fuel prices are here. This amount of, this is many, this amount of miles involved, this amount of time. You can plead your case. Hey, it's got X amount of stops. Um, you know, hey, traffic is difficult over on the East Coast. Whatever things you have to do to sell your business and sell the price that you need to take or recoup um, or that you require to deliver the freight. You're able to speak to a human being and say those things and you can banter back and forth and get your point heard. You can hear their point and you can come to a consensus uh, on a price and hence negotiation. I experienced in the short time that I was out in the spot market negotiating my rates, my prices, that there was probably on a, I can count on one hand how many times I was able to do some real negotiating. Other times it was with the computer. And you tell me the last time you negotiated with a computer. The computer has algorithms. It is programmed by a human. And it's told to do certain things. And if it says, hey, do not accept a rate higher than X when someone gives you B. I'll give an example of that. If I'm booking a load from Chicago to Lake City, Florida, and I want to, I want $3,300 for that run. And the computer says in their program, 
that I am not going to accept the bid over $2,500, guess what's not going to happen? You're not going to get a bid over $2,500. So I go and I say, okay, I type in, I want to get 33 for this. The computer comes back and says, I'll give you 24. And you come back and say, I'll do it for 33, 3250. The computer is going to say, I'm going to do it for 2450. You come back and say, hey, okay, let's do this for 32. The computer is going to say, I'm going to do it for 25. You come back and say, okay, 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 let's do it 3190. The computer is going to come back and say, I'll do it for 25. And you come back and give another, and the computer is going to say, I'll do it for 25. Now, I'm being funny when I say this, um, because in reality, most AI-driven um, negotiating brokers, computers, are going to give you two opportunities to give a quote, and you're done on that load. So you came back twice, and they're going to say you've reached your limit um, in giving that price. Uh, JB Hunt does that. I think Uber Freight does it. They may all do it. <laughs> I'm just giving examples. So with that in mind, you know, what is the program? Is the program getting numbers based on the amount of trucks in the area? Are, are the algorithms programmed in uh, the, what fuel is costing? Uh, what the weather conditions are in that particular time of year? Um, you know, is this, are there multiple stops? Whatever, whatever it is. What's what's driving it? What's what, what's the program? To me, I look at it as it gives a broker an opportunity to not have to deal with you directly. That's the only thing I see about it, because they don't want to have to hear my mouth. Hey, man, this this is right. This is no way. This you can't. I can't run it for that price. Fuel calls this. Fuel calls that. My truck gets this. This tires. Whatever. They don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear that. So in reality, if I could just let the computer deal with it, and I don't have to deal with them, and eventually somebody's going to take it. That's just the way it is. It's frustrating, but that's the way the industry is going. And I think it's ruining trucking, particularly for the owner operator. It's not hurting the big carriers because they're the ones who's pushing the AI. But the small guy, the small lady, the owner operator that's out here living one load at a time, that's who is hurting. So how do you get around that? You can't. You can't. Yeah, there's some brokers that still negotiate, but guess what? The AI is setting the market. So who the brokers where, where are they getting the information from? From those algorithms. Simple as that. I mean, I actually saw a load that went from Jacksonville to San Francisco for $1,000. Now, I'm pretty sure somebody didn't run that, but they started the negotiating at that number. Why even start with that? Because that's unrealistic, that's disrespectful. And I would slap anybody who ran that load for that price. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's just, it's, 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 it's scary. But look, I just wanted to share that with you. My opinion on artificial intelligence in the trucking sphere, the, the trucking, the trucking window. You guys stay safe out there, man. You guys, you know, stay to the grind, but be smart. Be smart. I don't know when this is going to flip, but I just wanted to say this is one of the things that's driving the numbers down. Artificial intelligence. Listen, family, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, comment. Let's have a discussion on this. Maybe this is something we could talk about for the next six months about artificial intelligence and trucking. Uh, but like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, I love and appreciate the continued support uh, with the Highway Pitmaster. Um, let's continue to grow. Let's continue to do it. Uh, be safe out there. Enjoy the weather. And uh, we will see you guys on the next one. Thank you.